to win this championship today. A huge advantage for champion Allison being behind Jonathan Jones and Randolph Ross, and Ross is going to have to run like he's being chased. Because he is. And Dwight, he's doing just that. He's going out hard, knowing that he's in lane eight. He can't see the two guys that are going to be really his competition right now, but he has to focus on his race, and he's doing it to perfection. And he's got nobody to focus on now that he's put made up the standard on Richard Kuykendall. Coming into the finishing stretch, Randolph is doing a great job, but here comes Elijah Godwin and champion Allison. It is Ross. I'm waiting for a move from Allison, and it's not going to happen. Randolph Ross is going to successfully defend. Out there in lane eight all by himself, Allison gets second. Elijah Godwood third. 44-13 for Randolph Ross in repeating as NCAA champion. Now, guys, we said it might take 43 to win. It didn't take that, and it's because Randolph Ross broke the competition. Because he was in lane eight, he went out hard and made everybody chase him, made them leave their own race strategies. And like I told you, he needed to get to that 100-meter mark first. And once he did that, he is one of the strongest finishers in the entire world in the 400-meter dash, and he showed it off. You see it here coming around the curve. Champion Allison and Elijah Godwin there trying to push him and press him. But Randolph Ross just a very nice job of staying within his form, going to his arms when his legs are gone and tired, and not tightening up like some of his other competitors. Well, and you can see Randolph Ross is absolutely a next-level competitor. He's going to do well at the Olympic development level. But so many times we've seen him in races where he has to come up with the performance all by himself, nobody else pushing him. And once again, here at the NCAA Championships, he's the guy who has to make it happen. So Randolph Ross repeats as champion 44-13. Champion Allison running close to his lifetime best at 44-41. Elijah Godwin gets a lifetime best. And Florida scores 12 points in that 400 with thanks from Ryan Willie down in fifth place. But the champion is with John. All right, Dwight Randolph Ross. Listen, I know when you run, it's like people are chasing you. But when you're in lane eight, everybody's chasing yeah. you. What's it like to try and run from out there? It's most definitely a different feeling. And it's hard to keep your focus on and running within yourself. But it's something we all have to do. The Olympic trials, I was in eight, nine. So it, is, it always happens, you know. You never know what lane choice you're going to get. So you got to be able to perform out of all of them. 44-13, we think, what of that number? That was awful, but it's, <laughs> it's okay, you know. You can never be mad with a win. So he's moved forward, getting for the 4-4. Congratulations, he's got the win, even if it was an awful time, and he's his first repeat champion since Karani James. Randolph Ross, North Carolina A&T, the champ.